on? I think it's on. Hey, um, good morning, Internet, YouTube. Welcome back to the Jimmy Show. Um, today's going to be kind of a quick episode because I woke up a little late. I went running, but I got to do laundry and shit. So uh, no roasting just yet. Maybe this evening. But uh, I want to tell a quick little story before I go head out and do laundry. Okay, so give me 10 seconds, grab a drink, and we go. By the way, today's drink is, uh, I like mango juice in, in here in Thailand, but today I got lychee, lychee juice. We're looking at what percent? This shit is actually mixed, 20%. Not bad, not bad. But from Concentrate, mm, I don't know about the Mealy brand. Mm. So anyway, let me get out here so you guys can hear me, uh. Fucker. Oh, I need to grab a chair. Hold on, people. Hold on. Move the laptop. Fucker. Okay. Sawadika, how are you guys doing today? A little hot. It's, uh, you see I'm sweating. It's hot as fuck outside. But I still gotta do laundry, eh? What the fuck? Whenever I'm wearing cheap ass, uh, one dollar t-shirts and shit, and my bandanas are a little faded, it's time to do laundry. Ah. Before I go and do that today, I want to relay a quick, quicky quick, quick story to you guys. Eh? Now, you guys know I often used to um, talk shit about, well, people would always talk shit about my Blackberry phone, right? I've had a couple Blackberries. I like the brand. They're durable phones. You know, you could drop them, break them, crack them. They'll still... Take forever to reboot, but uh, they rarely crash, and like they're they're like not as prone to being hacked and jacked and fucked with, because it's such an obscure operating system that like less probably less than one or two percent of the planet uses this shit, right? So whatever, I just like well-engineered shit, you know. Rim Research in Motion, the Canadian company that makes them, uh, I just like their shit. What the fuck? I, I hope that they. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I hope that that company makes a rebound. They're on some shit. God damn, it's fucking hot out here in Thailand today. Holy shit. Some days I swear it's like, you know, if this place were an oven, most days it would be on like 375, 400. Today it's on fucking broil. Like, god damn, it's fucking hot, right? Though I am here in the hot, hottest time of the year. Um, they call this the low tourist season, probably because it's so fucking hot and the temperature is so unbearable. Most people come here during the winter months, you know, whenever it's like snowing and shit. And I guess uh, prices are also higher than too or whatever. So I guess that's why I got such a good deal on the fucking rentals and all this shit this time. I don't care, motherfuckers. At least I am not in the dirty south or in motherfucking fuck-ass California. I'm here. So fuck it. But today's episode, um, I want to illustrate that I am human. You know what I'm saying? I'm mortal. I have problems just like the rest of you motherfuckers, though I don't really talk about them as much. You know, I I prefer to um, talk and address, like, solutions versus problems. So uh, I'm going to give you guys some of my little microscopic problems, how I deal with them, and uh, whatever. Because yesterday was a pretty weird fucking day, right? And I started out as any other day. Wake up, run the beach, do my thing, internet, upload, blog, spam, roast. <laughs> Welcome to the shimmy show, by the way. That's what I do, motherfucking Mr. Mr. Fucking Internet, the, uh, the entertainer and all this shit. Unfortunately, it's like when you're, when you're a webmaster, actor, entertainer, especially an actor kind of guy, it's like motherfuckers don't really want to take you seriously, like, ever. Like, nobody ever cares what actors and quote-unquote so-called comedians think but oftentimes it's like motherfuckers when I'm when I'm being serious people think I'm joking and when I'm joking they think I'm serious so it's like motherfuckers are often uh they don't know what angle to approach me at you know what I'm saying so I am not a joker or jester on this shit all the motherfucking time you know I like I like to clown motherfuckers I like to act the fool sometimes you know what I'm saying that's how motherfucking uh, entertainers get paid Whatever, you know, I, 
I realized that most people, most people in the world, they want to see black people be athletes and entertainers. I realized that, you know, I look at one of my, uh, some of my adult channels, you know, they're, they're motherfucking about like 90 million, a hundred million views. And this shit here, like I say, motherfucking 10 people watch it or something. So it's like, nobody really gives a fuck about this show. You motherfuckers want to see me run, jump, fuck, dance, sing. I get it. I get it. You know, black people are motherfucking cartoon characters to the rest of the world. I get that. I'm not, I can tell that. You know what I'm saying? If I get on this motherfucker and do the goddamn Candyman electric slide or kid and play or some old ass 90s, 80s dance or some shit, motherfucking 30 million people will probably watch it. As far as what I think, uh, fuck what that nigga thinks. Go dance, nigga. Go fuck some white girls. Go watch that shit. You know? <laughs> but real talk. So anyway, here's here's some stuff from the real world, you know, because I am a real person. I do venture out into the world and do shit and whatever. Um, yesterday, about my BlackBerry, I lost it. Rather, motherfucking niggas here on the beach stole it. It's motherfucking, uh, motherfucking Thai niggas, Asian niggas or whatever. And fucking, uh, and by the way, I call everybody niggas. Don't think that, oh, he's a racist. He said nigger. I'm like, no, everybody you, 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 you listening to this right now could be niggas. Everyone's a fucking nigga in my book. So don't take it like, you know, I call white people niggas all the fucking time. All the fucking time. Sometimes they give me some confused look. Sometimes it's a brother man that. But it's like, it's not a... I don't, I don't consider nigga to be a pejorative term. You know, I don't consider myself to be a nigger with a hard R or whatever. But I mean, it's just, it is what it is, right? So these Thai niggas, whatever, on the beach, not even girls, fucking dudes, fucking niggers. You know how they talk to motherfuckers, hey, brother, where you from? Blah, 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 blah. Niggers had dreadlocks and shit and whatever, too, and we're talking that shit on the beach. And while I'm talking to these niggers or whatever, I happen to sit my phone down and my 99-cent sunglasses from Dollar Tree. The Dorian A. Peters follows me, too. <laughs> motherfuckers stole the shades and my Blackberry. A fucking three year three or four year old Blackberry with a cracked screen that can't really do shit and it barely holds a charge. You know, motherfucker, you can't log into it, it ain't worth nothing, whatever. And I gotta buy another phone now. But actually, I do have the um hold up. Move my chair, move my chair. This little motherfucker here. Shit. God damn, balconies are small in Thailand. There's some very small, tiny people. Uh, this is called the Soyuz 6S or 7S or whatever. It was less than $50 on eBay. I bought it before I left. It's uh, the world's smallest Android phone, right? <laughs> I don't really talk to anybody. You know what I'm saying? This is just like some, hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm on the way. Sure, baby. Yeah, bye. I don't need like all this motherfucking... Motherfuckers be watching movies on their phone and shit and playing games and shit. I don't, yeah, I'm not into it. Maybe one day I'll get into it, but currently I don't give a fuck. So this little motherfucker is perfect. I can fit it in my hand while I'm running. It's got a little bullshit ass camera. that's probably like half a megapixel or something. I don't care about technology. Um, but I bring up my, uh, my little beach robbery story to point out something to you guys. Uh, one of my homeboys told me one time, and I like this quote, he says, hey man, if you try to rob me, you're just going to be practicing. You know what I'm saying? Let me repeat that for emphasis. If you try to rob me, you're just going to be practicing. By that, I mean, you're not going to extract any wealth from me. You're not going to hurt me. I'm not, I'm not a materialist motherfucker. You're not going to get shit out of me. You know what I'm saying? I don't have any watches. I don't wear them. I don't have any gold or jewelry. I don't have any chains. I like being a naked motherfucker, if you can't tell. I don't like anything that adds additional weight onto my body. The only motherfucking piece of jewelry I got is this little 50 baht bracelet I happened to purchase from an old lady on the fucking tuk tuk chicken truck fucking 10 cent bus or whatever. You know, whatever. I like buying shit from little old ladies or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Or supporting them, for instance, or whatever. But I'm like, I'm not... You gonna rob me? Of what? My white teeth? You know, like, my t-shirt? What do you want from me, right? 
So this motherfucker's on the beach, yo. They steal a fucking phone that they can't even probably get not even $10 from at a pawn shop with a cracked screen that's a fucking Blackberry, no less. I actually tried to get the, um, the screen for it fixed at all these little, like, little Asian cell phone shops, and I'd bring it up to the store and be like, what do you got, Samsung, iPhone, Samsung? I'm like, no, no, um, Blackberry. And they'd be like, the fuck, this nigga going to time machine or something? <laughs> you tell motherfuckers in 2018 that you have a Blackberry, and they're like, huh? They haven't seen one of these things in, like, probably four or five years, and they figure, like, why does this nigga have such obscure technology? Well, it's because I don't give a fuck and I have a phone that fucking most hoes and niggas don't want to steal or don't want to fuck with. And maybe that's the whole point. I'm not the nigga to rob. I am not the nigga to blackmail. I'm not the nigga to jack because if you tr try it if you want to, <laughs> you're going to be practicing. You can try to steal this little motherfucker from me. I might actually just give you the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I used to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't have shit of, the only thing I have of actual any, maybe some value is this motherfucking, uh, next, you probably can't see it from here, my fucking Canon camera on the motherfucking thing, that's worth a little something, and this little bullshit ass laptop, the grainy ass webcam you're watching right now might be worth a little something, but I don't hardly take that out in public, so it's like, god damn it's fucking hot out here, fuck. I need to do this laundry and turn the fucking AC on. It's hot in Thailand today, boy. So yeah, man. Um, all you niggas that like to wear motherfucking um, gold and Rolexes and shit on your wrist and neck and walking out, walking around, leaving the house with motherfucking thousand dollar telephone and two, three thousand dollars worth of jewelry and shit on your body. But fuck, <laughs> this was actually my charger cable from the Blackberry that they stole. The, the motherfucking shit was so bad, I'd have to actually twist the USB in knots just so it could get enough voltage to uh, charge. So, And here's the funny thing about it, man. This is why I'm telling the story, right? For those of you niggas that ever, have ever been robbed, chances are the person that robbed you, they know you, they've been to your house before, or they're your friend, or whatever, or they've befriended you or some shit. Now, I, I knew these niggas for all of, like, 15 minutes on the beach, right? So I could say, like, I know them, know them, or whatever, right? It's very rarely that you'll get robbed by somebody who doesn't have any interaction with you at all. It's usually someone that's close or tight, or someone that's conversed with you, or some shit like that, right? So the game of these motherfuckers was some guy talks to you, while the other guy swipes your shit or whatever, right? So these niggas got a $10, probably less than $10 telephone. They can't even charge or turn on, and it's got a code on it and everything else or whatever, right? So it's like, it's worthless. So I look at these niggas once my telephone's gone, and I'm like, yo, dog, um, well, one of you four motherfuckers took it. I'm not saying who, but... And the niggas, the niggas do just like, just like niggas in motherfucking America or Dominican Republic, when they rob you, they'll do this shit. They're like, hey, it ain't me, look, look, my pockets are empty. My pockets are empty, I don't got nothing. It ain't me, brother, it ain't me, right? And I'm like, you motherfuckers must think I'm stupid, but it's like sometimes, goddamn towels, see laundry, I got lint all on it. People that fuck with you, they tell on themselves, they snitch on themselves just by their own digging and questions. It's, it's, a, it's a trait of narcissism or whatever. So I said, well, I got these niggas in the hot seat while they got this fucking $10 telephone. Let me do a social experiment just to, like, see how far they're going to take it, right? Because I don't want the fucking phone back, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, motherfucking only half the screen function that's flickers and shit. I, the fucking digitizer, I can't do that little slide and shit on it, <laughs> Playing with a little fucking clitty on it, I can't do that shit. So the phone's fucked. You know, barely turns on. Alright? So I'm like, let me go fuck with these niggas, right? So I, I hang around there for just they think they're thinking that I'm just gonna leave the beach and be like, oh my god, police, someone stole my phone and my my fucking uh what did the niggas get? They got a fucking credit card with motherfucking I think thirteen dollars on it, which I already canceled, and uh whatever. Now, I'm smart enough not to ever leave my place with an ATM card or some shit like that. I'm not that fucking stupid. So a general rule when you travel to foreign countries, don't take no money with you when you go out, duh, and just bring with you motherfucking 
a room key or whatever, and you could you got to pay for some shit. Decide that afterwards. So I'm, you know, there we go. So these guys, fucking these niggas on the beach, dog, fucking Thai dudes, they're fucking saying, um, your phone, uh, did it? Does it have a code? I'm like, really, dog? I'm dripping sweat here, Mr. Hyperhydrosis. <laughs> That's another topic for another show. So I'm like, the, the niggas on the beach are like, uh, does your phone have a code? Is, like, is it locked or whatever? And I'm like, you niggas are actually going to steal my telephone and ask me if I, if like, me, you want me to volunteer my PIN code. Yet apparently you know nothing about my phone that's missing. That's the definition of gaslighting. If you guys look at one of my previous episodes, gaslighting is like when a motherfucker puts a phone or some. What phone? I don't have no phone on my head. What are you talking about? There's no phone on my head. You're crazy. I've never had a phone on my head. That's the definition of gaslighting when somebody tells you that some shit is happening right in front of your eyes and they're denying it, like saying that you're the crazy one. I do not have a cell phone on my head. You're crazy. What phone? So the niggas robbed me and then they're asking me for the fucking, uh, I know they must think black people are stupid, maybe due to movies or cartoons or motherfucking YouTube channels like this or whatever, but I'm like, God damn, I didn't think they were going to take the shit that far, right? So I'm just letting these niggas dig their own ditch, and I'm watching to see just how far they played themselves, just so I can gauge their own level of motherfucking intelligence, because people who are thieves, people that are people that steal for a living, they're really not that intelligent, you know what I'm saying? They People who think they're smarter than other people... It's just fun to fuck with them and see how their brain operates. So I'm like, this 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 social experiment, it was well worth the motherfucking crack screen $10 phone or whatever, just so I could see how far they're going to take it or whatever. So niggas ask me what the pin code for the phone is and all sorts of like other incriminating ass questions or whatever. But it goes to show you, though, if someone's got to steal for a living or if that's their that's their modus of operating, they're they're. Their fucking IQ level of intelligence is very low. And these kind of people, they don't really get too far in life because it's like if you're a ripoff artist for a living, if you if you're whole, if you make a living out of ripping off or entrapping people or robbing people, hashtag OJJDP, I'll get on their train, bark train, robbery stories and shit in another story maybe. They tried to steal my backpack with laptop and camera in it and it's another story in itself. But the same day the girl in the airport, that's another story, November... Uh, 18th or 19th, 2014, I'll get on that another story at another time. It's hot today, I'm not gonna fucking get on that shit. But it's like, when people fuck with you or whatever, pay attention to the questions they ask you. They will tell on themselves. People will snitch on themselves, mostly based on their own digging and the questions they ask. Such as Dorian A. Peters asking me about Rhina inside the Passions Brothel in Sasua. You know, shit like that. That's the topic of another roast in another episode, you know? Why are you... Pay more attention. To, I pay more attention to the questions that people ask me versus what they tell me directly because questions are indicative of what they're digging for. Like, why do you care? I don't. Me, I, Shimmy does not ask motherfuckers. I don't dig on people for personal information. I'm never going to ask a motherfucker like, what's your password? What's your passcode? Or why this? Why that? Why that? Simply because I don't care. I don't give a fuck most of the time. You know what I'm saying? I'll ask someone a personal thing about themselves, but as far as, uh, you know, motherf I've, I've had motherfuckers ask me, like, pull <laughs> not here, but I mean, even in America, motherfuckers will ask me, like, how much money you got in the bank? You know, I had some crazy bitch ask me, do you have $100,000? So, like, I'm like, God damn. You know, like, weird, weird motherfucking shit. Like, uh, people snitch on themselves with their questions, and it's like, you can gauge a person's level of intelligence, basically, by how by the questions they ask, the type of questions they ask or whatever. So, all good in the hood. But remember, if you try to rob me, people, you're just going to be practicing. Man, um, if you guys, by the way, if you go and look at some of my old movies, promoting my own shit here, look at some of my old vids in the uh, Dominican Republic. If you look at my house there, um, you'll often see there ain't shit in there other than some little bullshit $80 computer or something that don't nobody want to steal, right? So... A lot of girls will be surprised when they came to my house, like, man, this guy doesn't have a, he doesn't have a flat screen TV, he has an old Humpty Dumpty box TV, uh, where's all his American shit, where's his iPhone, where's his laptops, where's his servers, where's his, where's all this high-tech shit 
Mr. Webmaster Movie Maker is supposed to have, you know? You motherfuckers will find out. I'm like Sonic the Hedgehog. I hate technology. I don't like shit. I like destroying computer monitors for fun, okay? I am not the nigga. I'm not Mr. Technology. You know, I like to be as naked as possible, so try to rob me if you want. You want to take my little bullshit eBay telephone with no SIM card and a... <laughs> oh, the Lord. You know, it's like, when you spend money on experiences or whatever, you don't have shit. Motherfuckers could be in Florida right now, breaking into my house, doing 211 breaking enters. You motherfuckers ain't gonna get shit but a motherfucking blue, big blue exercise ball, a goddamn hardwood floor, and a $79 weight bench and set from Walmart that I got from Walmart online. Site to store. It was a pretty great deal because it came with 100 pound weights too. So it's like, that's it, nigga. Motherfuckers, I'll be more mad that you broke a window than anything, <laughs> you know, but <laughs> shit, man. I am not that nigga to jack. You try me if you dare, okay? <laughs> Breaking my fucking house, nigga, you're going to have nothing but a pair of, a, a whole pile of destroyed running shoes, motherfucking an old beat up motherfucking hot tub, and some exercise equipment. That's it. I don't like, I'm not a materialistic motherfucker that collects shit. Okay, my, my, how they say in the Bible as mother religious people, keep your wealth in the heavens or some shit or do not, do not put your wealth in our heads. I don't get it, people. I don't get it. So that's just uh, my story for the Shemmy show today. A quick little rant about, um, I'm not that nigga to rob. You try to rob me, baby, you just gonna be practicing. I am not that nigga. <laughs> Where's the safe? Where's the safe? I'm like, safe? Who told you I had a safe? <laughs> ah, two key and a robot of me. Ideal's meal. You want to rob me? Oh my god. You're in for the surprise of your life, nigga. What if I invest everything in my body and then experiences? Don't like to buy shit, nigga. Don't like to buy shit. Unless it's damn near free on Craigslist or some shit like that, you know? Actually, no. I have I have a pair of $210 BB, used BBS rims on my Volkswagen. That's like my number one asset currently on a fucking $800 car. So, I got my bling there, nigga. If you want some motherfucking rims from the fucking 80s, and try to jack them. But even I even got wheel locks on them. <laughs> Anyways, this, this is, shit's been real, my nigga. I'm going to go do my laundry. At, uh, that's how I'm going to spend my fucking money or whatever. In the fucking little massage shack or some shit today. It's fucking hot as fuck, though. Fuck, it might be even too hot to go out after I clean the house up. Just rambling, talking to myself. But anyway, thank you, thank you again for watching The Shemmy Show. You know, just some travel advice from you motherfuckers, you know. And that's my thing, yo. Don't don't leave don't travel with an expensive phone. Don't leave the house with your ATM card. More importantly, don't sit a motherfucking phone down on the beach while you talk to niggas or whatever. But imagine how angry or upset I would have been had I lost a thousand dollar iPhone or a fucking you know, motherfuckers I'd be having wallets full of cards and shit. If you're the type of motherfucker that goes out of your house, even in America, with all sorts of unnecessary motherfucking Wallet this stick full of cards and cash. And I'm like, what's wrong with you people? God damn. Got your whole life in your pocket? Why? Do you need all that shit to go to Walmart or the grocery store? Probably not. Think about it, people. You know? God damn. Wowzers. Like Inspector Gadget would say. Wowzers. Yeah, maybe I'll go to the barbershop and trim them sides up a little bit. I wouldn't be so fucking hot here, huh? Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I'm talking way too fucking long here. Sorry, sorry, people. This is just my story and my rant. Some people like to hear me rant or whatever. Tell my real true life stories. But this goes to show you that I'm human, too. I'm victim. I'm a victim. Oh, my God. Shimmy got robbed. Woo! Y'all niggas got over good, boy. I just can't wait till these motherfuckers go to the pawn shop and take a Blackberry with a cracked screen there. 
only to have the nigga behind the motherfucking uh, glass door just laugh at him like, what the fuck is this? Does it even turn on? You don't have a code for it? It's a fucking Blackberry? Ain't even got a chip or no card or no data. <laughs> This makes just about as much sense as trying to shut down a video YouTube channel or server or something. Like, you're really going to do that, dog? Really? It's all, like, backed up on the motherfucking cloud and Dropbox, Drive, Mirrored, Archive, Pastebin, whatever. So it's like, do your fucking worst, people. Do it. Rob me. Shut it down. Shut this motherfucker down. <laughs> all right, people. Do what you can. Um... Again, give me a fucking thumbs up if you want more people to see this video. Thumbs down if you don't, whatever. But if you motherfuckers don't buy my movies, I suggest you thumbs up and like all my shit. As they say, break yourself. Break yourself, fool, for the likes or whatever. But more importantly, buy my movies and want your money, honey. Because that's what fuels everything and all my adventures and blogs and everything. So this YouTube motherfucking shit here is just for, um... It's just for shits and giggles and fun. I like, I like to, uh... I like to not take my work that seriously, you know what I'm saying? So, in between, right now, shit is actually uploading in the background on my channels. I'm, I'm constantly cutting, by the way, I'm constantly cutting up my movies into little fucking minute and a half, two minute trailers and more promotional shit. One of the greatest things about making your own movies is that you can, when you have the raws or whatever, I have like all the fucking everything, all the behind the scenes. I can make like a motherfucking million movies out of the you know, that long we have a thousand, but I mean, as far as my own shit, I'm like up to number 370 or something. I, I kind of lost count, but I got, I got enough where I can chop shit up and be like, all right, here's this, here's the compilation, greatest hits of this, little samples of this, samples of that. So you guys can see all this shit here with various, me and various models just fucking around shooting the shit behind the scenes and more, more stuff if you so care to. Look me up, Twitter, Shimmy Triple X, YouTube. Fucking Google. Shimmy. I'm the only motherfucking Shimmy Triple X on the internet. So just look up Shimmy or the Shimmy Show. Fuck it. Anyway, this has been Real People. Thanks for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, broadcasting live from Thailand. And it's hot as motherfucker. I gotta do all this fucking laundry on the rack today. I got a lot of bandanas to wash so I can be clean. But I'll give you guys a show. It's really fucking hot outside today. Nice skyline today. Not... Almost not a cloud in the sky, you know. Beautiful fucking country. Beautiful fucking country. But more good shit to come along the way, man. All you, uh, all you people, stay, stay real, keep it real, and, uh, know what I'm saying? Don't buy a motherfucking thousand dollar phone. Don't wear jewelry. Don't wear a fucking watch, and don't nobody make you a motherfucking target. No hard feelings, baby. So... I guess I have to buy another fucking used Blackberry <laughs> when I get back to America or some other phone if this motherfucking little motherfucker here fails me. So, and even I got, got a crack screen on that now too, so it don't really matter. So if you guys have been trying to hit me up on shit like fucking uh, WhatsApp and uh, whatever the fuck people use smartphones for, I ain't gonna have one for a little while because I ain't going back to the motherfucking America for a while. Fuck y'all. I ain't got, you know what I'm saying? I'll come back when I fucking feel like it. Whenever the fuck I feel like it, nigga. I can ride it out here for as long as you motherfuckers keep buying my movies. It don't matter, baby. It don't matter. Buy my movies. Want your money, honey. Yeah. I, oh, I got to show you guys one more thing before I shut it down today. Hold on. One more thing. One more thing. Well, a few more things here. Cleaning the house with my feather duster. Got to, got to dust off them evil spirits. Uh, um, two new products I want to show you guys. Not really new products, but um, some things that are popular in Thailand. These are in 7-Eleven. They're called milk tablet. You know. It is literally milk in tablet form, like a fucking, I think. <laughs> a lot of a lot of Asian girls here, they are, they're on, they, they got a little picture of a cow on it, I think, can you guys see that? Probably my camera's so shitty you can't see the cartoon on and over. Um, Thailand, Asian people in general, they like pills and tablets. 
I don't really understand the concept, but um, there was this girl I used to date here years ago, and, um, you know, we talk on fucking WhatsApp and shit when I'm back home, and it's like, she'd say some shit like, Oh, darling, they call everyone darling, you know? Oh, darling, me take me sleepy, me take milk tablet. And I'd be like, the fuck is a milk tablet? <laughs> milk tablet? Huh. Well, wouldn't you know I go to 7-Eleven today, and right by the register by the motherfucking Kit Kat bars and shit, I see this. I thought the girl was bullshitting me, right? But they actually have milk tablets. Milk in a motherfucking tablet form, and it tastes like milk, too. I'm like, why don't you motherfuckers just drink milk? No, you wanna, you just, Asians like fucking pills. Like Dr. Mario, I don't understand it. So that's some very Thai shit there. Milk tablet, and this other shit here. It's actually manufactured by Bayer, but there's a, uh, in Bangkok. They don't have these in America. This is a Thai inhaler, right? I used to wonder about this for a very long time, right? I thought it was some drug shit, because I would see every single motherfucking taxi driver, bar girl, go-go dancer, motherfucking old lady, cleaning lady, old motherfucking laundromat Asian lady, they all have this shit in their pocket. This particular shit is called Vapex, but there's like five or six versions of it, and it's very cheap. It's 20 baht, which is less than a dollar, and it's a motherfucking two-in-one oil inhaler. Looks like VIX or some shit in America. It's got one side this VIX, and the other side, if I open up the green side, it's got the dab or oil shit or whatever, right? Now, Thai people, put that a little closer to the screen so you guys can see it or whatever. Uh, okay? Saw it on the Shemmy Show here first. This might be the new drug shit in America. I don't know. Thai people call this shit here Yadom. Y A D O M, right? It is a uh, kind of like a caffeine-based stimulant, I guess, since I see so many taxi drivers and booty-shaking go-go dancers. Almost every fucking 15 minutes, girls, guys, you name it, pretty much everybody except for police officers are sticking this fucking shit up their nose like nose candy. They're just, just walk around Thailand or YouTube, Yadom, Y-A-D-O-M, you see people doing this. Then their eyes will go. <laughs> Yadom. It gives them like fucking energy and it's got like a fucking uh, menthol kind of uh, stim mild stimulant, whatever. Some motherfuckers use the other oil in, or some most people are just they're doing motherfucking powder and shit on that dust. But it's legal. It's 20 baht. But it's uh, kind of like. People do it on the low, like, I, <laughs> motherfucking girl taxi, they'll, they'll always hide it behind their hand, like, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> I first, I swear to God, I thought this shit was illegal, but you don't need the pharmacy prescription for it, Bayer sells it, it's, it's in almost every mom and pop store, I haven't seen it in the Philippines, only in Thailand, you know, and, uh, I actually looked it up. It is for sale on Amazon in America, but they jacked the price up like six times or whatever, so maybe I'll bring some back with me or whatever. But uh, Thai people are on that Yadom. You know, like they say, it uh, it gives the go-go girls their go-go. <laughs> you heard it on the Shimmy Show first, you know. <laughs> Yadom. So before I go run the next 10K race, I'll keep this in my pocket or whatever. <laughs> So what's that nigga doing? He's she's always sticking that shit up his nose. <laughs> ah, so that's Thailand, you know, the land of fucking lychee juice, fucking yadom, and uh, milk tablets, and hot ass fucking weather. So anyway, this is this is another episode of the Shemmy Show. Thank you for watching me from my mouth. Uh, hit that like button or whatever, share it, whatever. And uh, you heard it first here, man. Don't try to rob me, or you'll just be practicing. I have to get another phone now. I don't know what I'll get, but I'm probably parsed with a Blackberry brand. We shall see. We shall see. All right, laundry, because I'm wearing some fucking cheap shit and I got to get clean. Thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. Peace and hair grease. Show me signing out. Out of here, people. Bye. Bye.